Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kingsley from Kingobina.com, and welcome to this fantastic video. So, in today's video, we're going to look at how we can how to use Facebook pixels on Google Sites. So, I'm going to show you exactly how you can implement Facebook pixels on Google Sites. So, as you can see on the screen right now, let me yeah, this is on the screen. So, this is the example that I did. This uh, um no, this is a uh, a tracking like a Facebook pixel that I did with Google Sites, okay, with one of my sites with Google Sites. As you can see here, it said active. So I'm going to show you a white hat method which you can use to implement your Facebook pixels with Google Sites. So it's not very straightforward and requires a lot of technical stuff, but I'm going to make it very simple for you guys, and you're going to see how it goes. So, um, so I'm going to. So what I'm going to do right now is. If I try to create another Facebook pixel with this um, account, it's going to say no because you, are, you can only create one Facebook pixel with um, a normal account. This is not a business account yet. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is to log in um, Facebook, to log in another account on Facebook to now show you exactly how you can implement Facebook pixels with your Google site. Okay. So um, to do this, of course, obviously you need a website. Uh, I showed you exactly how to create an e-commerce website using um, f using uh, um, Google Sites. Okay, so I will leave a link to the video in the description. You can check it out. So what I want to do right now is to log out this account and log in the other account so that I can be able to show you exactly how to implement this Facebook pixels to Google site. So if you don't know what Facebook pixel is, Facebook pixel allows you to retarget your audience. Like you allow you to target how um, your visitors behave on your website. Okay. So that you can use it to run your ad campaign to target those specific audience. So what I'm going to do right now is to log in to another account. So I'll log into this account. Okay. So, I pull that in and click on login. Okay, so it's going to log in right now. Yes, so yeah, yeah. So I believe it's in already. So what what you're going to do next is to go to search and type in Facebook pixels. Okay, so type in Facebook pixels. Now I click search. So you're going to be brought to this page here you say create and install a facebook pixel just click on it okay this is exactly what we want to do we want to create and install the facebook pixels on our website okay so um it's going to load up i want to show you something here so that when you're creating yours you exactly know what you're doing so as you can see you say here hi joy how can we help you make sure it's saying the like the account you want to use the name of the account is here make sure the name of the account is here so that you won't use any other account okay so i advise you use a business account as well so what we want to do right now is to scroll down okay scroll down so it's going to break down a lot of things how you can do it but don't worry i'm going to show you exactly how to do everything in this video so scroll down and click on events manager okay as you click on event manager it's going to redirect us to um, our facebook um, pixels account pixel account so where we can create the facebook pixel okay as you can see there's no facebook pixel here already so that is exactly what we want to do we want to create the account now so we just click on here connect this stuff and um, as you can see it's going to bring so many options for us to choose so since we want to do it for a website so we're going to click on web instead of app so we're going to on the website click on web and click on connect and after that it's going to say what do you want to use conversion api or facebook pixel so just click on facebook pixel and click connect so it's going to say we should you know impute the name of uh, the url the name of our site or the name of the pixel so i'll just say web tracking so you can name this stuff anything just for just for you to remember it and it's going to access for the url of our site so i'll go to sites.google.com okay go to sites.google.com then this is let me let me go back and show you site.google.com so this is site.google.com then you're going to select the um the, the website you currently working or that you want to install the facebook pixel on 
so this is the website i want to install the facebook pixel now just click on it so if you don't know how to connect a custom domain name like i showed you exactly how to do it in one of those in one of my videos i also leave the link to it in the description below so that you can watch the video and connect it and have a custom domain name so that you can be able to do this stuff easily because if you use um, um the domain name that google site is going to give you that is going to that is very long and it's not advisable i would advise you to use a custom domain name so this is the website i want to run on I want to install the facebook pixel in so i'll just click here to get the domain name and click on custom so this is the custom domain name here i'll just copy this stuff so i'll copy everything here Control c and go back to facebook pixels and add the website here so i'll add it here and add https to it https then colon and double slash and click on continue so it's going to create the tracking immediately then after creating it it's going to say which method do you want to use is it a manual method or want to use with a third party program so with google site you can't use it with a third party integration so leave this one alone and go to install code manually so this is a white hat method that i'm teaching you so we are going to copy this code right now copy this code and go back to google sites okay so we'll go back to our google site make sure you are open you open it here on this editor then click on this um bar here and click on embed so this embed allows us to embed code so we we'll just click here and control v paste that code we got from um facebook pixels okay and click on next so it's going to load it up and try to see what it is okay so it, this is exactly what the facebook pixel is and click on insert so it's going to insert it here as you can see it's very big so the white hat method we want to you do now this is it so listen to me very well so what you want to do is to reduce this stuff to the brs minimum okay so we've reduced this to the brs minimum okay this is the smallest right now so I'll also reduce it okay it can't go any further so this is it so i would also now not drag this stuff up here okay i'll drag it up here and place it here so i've done this this is the facebook pixel is loading and it's inserted already so what i want to do right now is to click on publish okay so that i'll, I'll make this thing go live i'll click on publish and uh yeah i'll publish the website now so i've published it already so i'll go back to facebook pixels again and click on continue so they are going to tell you know access to automatically advanced matching this with this information this will help you understand your you know your customers and know exactly what they are doing and all those stuff so you can turn this on you can turn it off so i'll just turn it i'll just turn it off okay i'll turn it off for now you can come back and do this and click on continue so it's going to show you how it works it's going to try to explain the platform for us and how you're going to understand how your visitors are using your site so you can take your time to read this thing up so i, I, I already know how it works so you can read this thing up and um, know how it works and click on open event setup too so it's going to say um we have a little error here so what you want to do is to you know leave this error and click on cancel is to you know let's 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 go back to our google site here and get our custom domain name okay let's get our custom domain name and copy it okay and come back to this facebook pixel here and paste the domain name here and add https to it colon and double slash then after adding this stuff there's no need to just click on cancel just cancel this stuff so what's going to happen now is this is our you know this is our web uh, our facebook pixel so what it's going to do is it's going to try to you know go through this um site that we've added and um cumulate data for it and start showing us 
um result okay so as you can see it said it said here as i click on test events here it said that okay so as we've added it what we need to do right now is to you know enter the url of the website so this is the url of the website and click on open site so it's going to so what it's going to do right now it has opened the site this is the website right now i can reduce this header you know to to make sure it fits to the screen so it's going to track everything that i'm doing right here on the website okay i'm going to show you that now you're going to see it live so this is what we do this i just came to the website and i'm scrolling down and that's it so it's, as we go back to facebook pixel as you can see it says here processed as you can see this is awesome so it has tracked what we did as you can see the time yeah as at the time i'm shooting this video this is 2 57 am as you can see here so it tells us the time the visitor came and what um, source is coming from which is the browser method and it's a manual setup and this is the receiving activities and everything we need to know so when you come back to overview very soon you start seeing information here so this is a test event and this is working accurately guys this is awesome i believe you get very, you get value from this video so if you want if you have any other question you want me to you know go further with this thing as you can see i've added this stuff here on our website so if you have any question or you want me to go further with this thing so all you need to do is to you know leave a comment in the comment section and I will exact I will know what to do and answer your question. So our Facebook pixels is added already. So now we can start creating our ad. If you click on create, you ask you ask you to create an ad or whatever to start targeting our audience based on what they do on our website. So I believe you got value from me this video. So if you got value from me, smack this like button, the subscribe button, and the bell notification icon as well. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I say you should stay safe and uh, enjoy yourself. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next video.